Mount Panorama is a monolith in Australian motorsport. Everyone knows the challenge of it. Everyone knows the difficulty of the Bathurst 1000 and the Bathurst 12 hour. Internationally, people know its fame due to its challenge and everybody wants to drive here. However, there has been one category that just will never be able to race here. So today I'm talking to you about why can't Formula One race at Bathurst. And it's no one reason, there's a multitude of reasons. But to start with, let's look at the walls. If an F1 car is involved in a wreck, over these walls, there is just no catchment. There is no catching the car. And while obviously it's no different for any other car, any other car could go over these fences. An F1 car has less protection than a normal car. It goes without saying, but through one of these downhill sections with the mountain just dipping off to the left, an F1 car would very much become an aeroplane through here. And it's done multiple runs at Bathurst, but these are very safe trial runs. If these guys were racing, all it would take is a slight hook on the rear tire and a car that gets sent to the left will just get sent straight over the mountain edge. We've seen it happen before in V8 supercars, but V8 supercars at least have a very rigid structure, a very good protection. Whereas Formula One cars, you're very open. While now they have the halo, it's still not enough to protect you, especially in cases like good old Chaz Mostert's incident here at the Forest Elbow. If you look at that incident, an F1 car doing that would just go straight over the fence and would probably end in the driver in hospital. Chaz, while he only had a broken leg, if that was in an F1 car, I fear the consequences. Now, another reason is obviously the track blocks up very easily, and it's not unlike a few F1 circuits where tracks can get pretty easily blocked up. But this track, it happens way too easily, especially through the top mountain section, through Skyline, through the Dipper, through the Forest Elbow. That whole area there, it can just block up with absolutely no warning, and the worst part is a lot of it is unsighted, relying only on flag marshals and radio communications. It's very infamous at Bathurst for a track to sort of block, and obviously it can unblock itself. But in the heat of racing with a car as fast as an F1 car, that just screams pure danger. And to touch on the unsightedness of a lot of these corners as well, you know, it's pretty bad in a supercar. We have some pretty bad incidents just due to not being able to see. You know, there's this one here, absolutely just clattered into the side. If that's an F1 car, that's a serious amount of damage. And that is, it would be like racing in the 60s and the 70s when there were, death was very common and incidents like this would happen fairly regularly. But now we've changed and there's a lot of things that F1 has to adhere to in regards to safety. That's why these sort of testing runs, these sort of demonstrations, they're fine. You can put an F1 car by itself and not have it racing. The FIA will allow that, but as soon as you throw in actual racing in the mix, FIA will not allow F1 to do something like that at a racetrack like this. This of course goes on top of the rapid speeds they do around to Conrad, and the fact that the track is so bumpy, it's so wild, an F1 car just would not be able to handle this. Supercars, they're on the edge of the limit sometimes on this track. An F1 car is just turned into an aeroplane accident at any moment. On top of that, the track is so bumpy, it's so rough. It can be hard for an F1 car to actually be able to do it. Would I like to see it? Yeah, sure. F1 at Bathurst, I feel like that would be a really good race. I've done F3 at Bathurst on iRacing and as much as the racing quality on iRacing sucks sometimes, it's a very fun track to run. You know, when you get it right, it's perfect, especially in a fast car like this. However, Mount Panorama and F1, it's not to be. We can get as many demonstration runs as we like, and it was fun seeing drivers like Jensen Button, Craig Lowndes, and Liam Lawson take to the mountain. However, gone are the days where the safety regulations would allow us to take such risks and race at Bathurst in these cars. And it's probably for the better, sadly. Anyway, if you've got any thoughts on this topic, be sure to let me know. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.